Hey guys, today we are going to take a look at what you need to do to customize the content in your app once it's been created. So we all know how to create the app, hit the add new button, and when you select a category, one of these, um, whatever one of these categories you select, there's a lot of stuff that comes pre-built. So the automated marketing, like the automated push notifications, the automated emails, that kind of, that, that stuff comes with, um, I guess, dummy text inside of it. So you need to go in there and customize it. So I just want you to take a look at what needs to be done. So you select, let's say we select a cafe, come back into our platform here, and we will select a, um, I'm just going to go into any app. Uh, let's just go into this one. Sushi app. Okay, so we come in here and we look at the campaigns. So we have autopilot, which are automated push notifications, and automatic emails, which are automatic emails. And um, these are the things that you need to set up or at least edit. Okay, so this one shows the birthday email has not been set up. So this is probably a good idea. You come in here, hit the edit button, and set up the content for the birthday mail. So the subject, who it's coming from, the email address it's coming from, and whatever content you're putting in here. Once you set that up, uh, you can still hit the active button and submit, and that email will be automatically sent when someone's birthday is in their profile. So this is a set it and forget it kind of profile. You set it up and it's done. The other thing you'll notice here is this is allows you to send coupons. So you're able to set up coupons, automated coupons that go out with these emails. So for example, if you're having someone's birthday, you want to send a birthday message saying, hey, happy birthday, have a free ice cream on us. Um, you can set up a coupon in the, in the loyalty section under uh, automated coupons, and that coupon will be attached to this email and will automatically go to your customers, okay? So we've got autopilot, we've got automatic emails that need to be set up. Now keep in mind the stuff that's already set up here, so if you select the active ones here, comes with dummy data. So this has uh, data in that you don't want this uh, in the, uh, in the uh, emails of your clients. You want your own client branding, your own client information. It says here, uh, company name, that kind of stuff. It's just dummy data and some of it's been spelled all this. So you, you want to go in there and make sure that you add the right content. So I went ahead and updated the uh, the content on this uh, message, this email. You can see I added the, uh, the logo there, um, just updated to clean up the message. The Apple and Android links, remember they're getting an email, so they're going to want to be able to open this email and uh, click on a link and, and go to the uh, the apps right away. So just I just updated the uh, Apple and Android link. You can find them on Google, just create the, hit the link button and uh, insert your links. And that's it. So this has now been done. So we've looked at autopilot, automatic email, um, and all of the rewards programs. So the loyalty stuff uh, comes with um, dummy text, right? So we've got uh, three or four items in the rewards category set up. This needs to be looked at. Um, you, if you're obviously if you're a sushi place, you're not going to want to have ice cream and, and the rewards. Um, so this kind of stuff needs to be updated, and your rewards need to be set up um, accordingly to according to the business that you're in. Um, the action points, everyone has different types of action points. You need to set that up. Um, you, you know, these guys are giving a thousand points out on just on registration. Your business may not want to do that. Um, the scratch and win card that needs to be set up. It's not need, again, not needing to be set up. It needs to be edited. So we set the stuff up for you. All you need to do is edit, come in here and edit the, uh, the images that you're, you're, uh, you're, you're using. Um, again, there's different size images for iPads, iPhone X's, and uh, the regular uh, iPhones. Uh, all these things need to be uh, updated to reflect the business that you're selling the app to, okay? Uh, similarly, if there's a coupon there, if there's not one here, you would you want to add one, you can do that here. You can add the automated coupon or the regular coupons. Um, and the home screen, obviously. Um, the home screen is going to come with a generic image uh, of whatever type of business is it, it is. You're going to want to put your own image under the home screen. Okay, so it's just basically going to reflect your business, the obviously the logo, the color scheme, all that kind of stuff. That needs to be done as well. Um, and then your your uh, referral message, this is will need to be uh, configured um, to reflect the business. So this is the message that uh, is shared with uh, people when they're sharing the app, when they're referring friends from their network. Uh, you can put a custom message in here. Um, the store locator, so this is the address of the business. You need to update this. Obviously, it's it's uh, we, we can't know what, what businesses you're selling to, so we can't pre-populate this stuff for you. So you just hit the Add New button, enter the information required, address, latitude, and launch, it will automatically pop up. And then uh, location name, phone number, email ID, all this kind of stuff needs to be, uh, to be entered. Um, and what else can we 
update um, with loyalty we've gone over um, scheduling these are features now so we're not we got, this doesn't necessarily need to be done um, but it's something that you can add for your employee uh, for your for your businesses if you want obviously you can watch the video on how to set the these things up but the things that need to be set addressed again prior to um, the app launching or, or not launching or handing it off to your, um, your clients autopilot automatic email uh, reviews and ratings do we go over this one this is also going to be will come with pre-populated information you're just going to want to add the logos and uh, the content that you're uh, you're wanting to have in the uh, in, in this area here uh, to be customized to your business that will need to be set up um, features obviously gift cards these are all these are this stuff, stuff does not need to be set up first but it would, you would probably want to do it as a checklist there is a checklist that we're providing to you guys as well that you can go and check through but gift cards if you're adding gift cards if you're selling gift cards you would want to get that set up um the, you know obviously the food ordering system if you're if they're using you know going to set, need to set up their menu um all that kind of stuff would need to be set up but i'm just going over the things that we have that's pre-populated uh we went over loyalty and settings uh, essentially that's it so you know quick uh um refresher on what needs to be set up prior to publishing uh, or not publishing but handing off your app to your clients thanks for watching